peace initiative. Uh, uh, why on earth are the Rohingyas so persecuted uh, at the moment, Professor Ibrahim? Could you just try and explain that to us? Because we obviously we talk about this group a lot, and yet it's difficult to understand why they find themselves in this position. Well, the persecution of the Rohingya goes back to the Second World War, when the Japanese invaded what was at that time British-controlled Burma. The majority Buddhist population decided to side with the Japanese invaders, believing that this would lead to swifter independence, whereas the Rohingya remained loyal to their uh, colonial British masters. So after independence, there was a lot of scepticism about the Rohingya minority. And then the, the tipping point really came in 1962 with the coup of General Le Win, who then initiated a programme which he called the Burmese Road to Socialism, which was a complete economic disaster. And because of the economic disaster that he inflicted upon his people, he tried to make himself much more religious and tried to don the cloak of uh, Theravada Buddhism. And the, the Rohingya have always been the minority of choice of persecution. So in subsequent uh, laws that were passed from the 1974 Act and the 1982 Citizenship Act. Professor Ibrahim, I'm, I'm very yeah. sorry to interrupt you, sir, but we do have to move on. But thank you very much for your time. We've run out of time. Thank you.